All right, we're going to be doing 3D's ACA P2000 versus 3M's 2000 Purple Film, part 30666. And the idea here is we want to show a comparison of the two papers, a uh, very common paper that's out by 3M. Uh, we're going to be doing some comparisons on all of them. So you can see here it's a purple finishing film with kind of a white top uh, face. And with 3D we have a, a grayish color, looks kind of like a skin almost um, and there's a difference between these two papers uh, one of them is going to be the quality and uh, the depth and the way the cut is done now we want to show right here you got a couple little nibs you're going to be seeing as you go through here we're going to go with the p2000 3m again versus 3d's aca p2000 you can see right off the get-go here how smooth that cut is from the aca p2000 as opposed to that 3m now 3M looks like it's cutting a little bit, dust well, but uh, not really leveling out those uh, sand, those nibs, those dirt nibs that are in there. Now the 3D is leveling out quite evenly here, and uh, trying to keep it about the same speed. Now what the benefit that you're going to be looking at here is going to be the difference on the way that it's level. The 3D is designed to cut the surface flat as opposed to deep. We want to remove the tops of the dirt nibs and level out that orange peel. Wipe it down. Now we can spend more time cutting, obviously, but uh, we just want two even passes for both. And you can see here there's a bit of a difference between the cut on the two. The 3M's and the 3D's. Nice, even, even pigtails or even sand scratch marks. Almost like it started to polish it out a little bit. We're going to show the durability or the length of the cutting time with each one of these papers here as well. So you can see there, it doesn't look like it's worn out too much. We got a lot of nips here that didn't quite get removed, as you can see. Not to the, the quality that we want. The 3D, you can see a lot of them are flatter. Now we're also going to show that 3D paper, it's also a wet paper, can be done wet. The 3M, not as much. So for those of you that prefer dry versus wet, or wet versus dry, this paper is designed for you. So you'll be able to do both. Um, it's made to absorb some of that paper on there, so you got to keep it a little bit wetter, but uh, it'll make it so that you really can just go right to buffing right off of this 2000 sand scratch paper. Because uh, this refinish, the way it refinishes is, um, Real nice, you'll see that here in just a second. So we'll go and wipe that down. A lot, of was, a lot of water was left over on that 3M paper, and that was partially because it's not designed to be a wet paper. Or the 3D paper, you'll see it right here. Give you a nice, flat, even cut. Why is that beneficial? Well, because when it comes down to polishing, Using the right sandpaper is going to help speed that process up for you. You can see that it almost started to polish, not just cut. Now you can see a difference in the line there between the two papers. A nice even cut. Now the 3D paper is a silex type paper. You can crumple it up and pull it back out. 3M paper, not so much. But they do have their own uses. That's bad. Now, what we want to show you too is because of the type of cut you have, it'll be easier for you when you're compounding. We use the 3D ACA 500 on a foam pad, so we can show you because foam doesn't cut quite as fast as wool. Uh, we set the speed at level three. We just want to show you that the product itself is going to be providing an easier buff cycle for you when you're using the types of sandpaper and that's how important it is. It's not just a process of just removing debris and leveling surface but you also got to look at the, the end result is, is how well does it polish. We're going in nice even back and forth motions and we're just going to keep it nice and flat and try and get the same amount of 
polish, polishing steps on, on both sides. And there we go. Wipe it down. And you can see here that the... Well, we'll let you be the judge. Which one looks better? And it's a test you can take and do yourself. Spray it down with some Prepsol. There we go. Now just to make sure you guys, uh, you know, we started on the right side, we went to the left side, we're going to do it one more time for you where we start on the 3M side and go to the 3D side. So fairness runs in our game here. we do again four size, head. dime size drops, add a couple of P drops in there, make sure we have enough. And we're going to go this time. Viewers left. The viewers right. Wipe down. And voila. Now let's not be fooled. ACA 500 is a pretty impressive product, right there, in and of itself. But you can see there is a little difference, and I hope you guys take the time and come back and uh, do this challenge all on your own. Now we're going to show you real quick 3D versus 3M. If we were to go with a whole 3M system, chemical, sandpaper versus 3D system, chemical, sandpaper. Now we're going to use the same foam pads just to show chemical versus chemical, paper versus paper. And we're going to speed this up so you guys can see uh, the difference, maybe what you'd like to do in your shop. And you can notice here, back and forth, there definitely looks to be quite a bit of difference between the two. But we'll let you decide which one. So we're going to go 3M on our K56 SDP heavy cutting foam pad versus 3D on a K56 heavy cutting foam pad. Is definitely a cleanliness issue between the two. And we're gonna let this sucker roll. Don't forget, turn the lights out when you're done. Now we really were working this, trying to go the best. As you can see, I'm doing uh, nice, even back and forth motions for both products. I'm uh, doing a slight uh, bend in the wrist here, get the most out of the cutting performance for both. I really don't like polishing that long, so I don't want to abuse any type of product. So you can see though with that 3D product, it's coming out nice and easy, nice smooth back and forth motions. 3M, we're already having to reload. We're rocking and rolling here with 3D. We're about halfway done. 3M, we're about halfway done for the halfway done. And just for your viewing pleasure, we're going to speed this sucker up and uh, let you guys uh, definitely see the power of 3D and the benefit of bringing it to your shop. Just about finished wrapping up 3D here. And we still got a bit of cutting to do for the 3M product. Just gonna go through, make sure I got all my sand scratches out. I'm really trying to work this 3M product over here on the left side. Now this is the 3M EX Extra Cutting Cream, step one compound. You can see as we wipe it down here, uh, both the 3D and the 3M kind of wiped down kind of similar when it comes to 500 and that heavy cutting cream. Uh, but now when we do the prep all wipe down, let's see how it looks between the two of them. Now if you see the sling on the right side, that's from 3M after we cut it. And it does get to be a little rough to clear off, I mean right from the get go. So we know with the 3D product we're getting what we, we get because as you can see, the differences between the two here. Um, not only did we do it, not only did 3D do it a lot faster, but we didn't have any of the sand scratches come back. 
that we have uh, over here on the 3M side. We thought we were done, but not quite yet. Now you look on the 3D side, 100% correction. Looks great. We are ready for step two on that 3D side. 3M, not quite so much. So we got a little bit more work to do. Look at how black that 3D side is. Looks good.